Hello grade two, welcome to our math lesson for today. We are learning about area. Area is the measurement of a covered surface area. So it's a measure of a surface area, the area of a surface that is covered with tiles or square units. Now yesterday, you were able to practice this by cutting out tiles or drawing tiles to make tile floor of a dollhouse, a pretend dollhouse. I have a question for you today. Would circles be a good choice to cover a floor well? Or maybe not a floor, maybe a wall space. So a surface. Do you cover a floor well with circle tiles? I have seen it done before, but you're right. It doesn't work very well. Why not? What's wrong? What's, what would be the challenge of using circles as your tiles to cover a surface to measure the area? Well, that's right. The curved edges don't match up. Well, they do match up, but only at one little tiny space. And then you've got this gap that you can't really fill in with another circle that leaves space. So it's not really counted as covering up. You would have to overlap them. And that's not a very good thing to do. And then you would have like uneven ground or sticky outy walls. I have seen it done, but it is done so that the circle is fit inside of a square, so like this, or on a rectangle tile. So you're right. We need to make sure that we use the right kind of units to measure an area. Now, an area uh, is, we're learning right now uh, to measure the area of a two-dimensional space, a two-dimensional surface. And so today's lesson is pretty straightforward. Well, all you need to do is count squares. Can you do that? Can you count squares? Yeah. You know what? You could actually even count them in a pretty fast way. You could count the squares one by one. You could count by one in today's lesson, or you could start counting by doing skip numbers or repeated addition. You see, this example that they give here, um, they have one squirrel, I think, that, I think they're squirrels, one squirrel, oh actually maybe they're beavers, they got those, those big teeth at the front. Uh, this, this, no it's a squirrel definitely, this one's a squirrel, Squirrel's holding a square. It says, this is a square centimeter. All right. This is a representative of a square centimeter. Here are six square centimeters. Oh, I see. Do you know that you could count these by ones? This is what I mean. You could count these squares to make sure that this beaver is telling you the truth, that there are six squares there. Or you would probably be able to recognize that there are three and then three more. So three plus three, well, that's six. Or you might be able to see that there are two plus two plus two, and that equals six as well. You choose what works best for you to count the squares in each of these rectangles below. You can, or, or rectangles are squares and then record the number that you counted on the line. Pretty straightforward, right? That's all you need to do today. Count the squares, put it in there. But understand, the reason why you're counting these, these squares is to figure out the area. How much of an area each of these shapes has in it. Each of the squares represents a square centimeter. Once you're finished this activity for today, and this is a printout, or you can refer to it on your screen and then just write the answers in 
on a numbered way. Make sure they're numbered. Then write your answers on a separate piece of paper. That's fine too. You do not have to print this out. That's fine. Once you're finished that page, then you can do, uh, you have a choice of doing an extension activity. Oops, upside down. And that is the task card number two. Same thing, they have a grid. You need to count how many squares are covered, in, or are needed to cover this space, to fill the space that is there. And you need to use the, the grid around it to figure out how many rows, how many columns, so that you can figure out the count of how many square centimeters, because each of these squares represents, if you take a ruler and measure it, it will not be one centimeter, but it's a represent, it's, a, it's there instead of a centimeter square. You need to count them all to figure out the answer for today. The challenge is that it's not the same as one centimeter. You have to really think about that. That it's a repre it represents, like a map represents the real thing. This is a, it's just in place. It's a symbol of one centimeter. The other challenge is that you cannot see the lines on your page. You need to use the grid lines around to figure out what the count is inside. And that is our math lesson for today. Enjoy!